In a recent video, I explored the ubiquitous Scottish pilgrimage found on YouTube that connects unrelated attractions in Scotland on a great northwest expedition. Although one with good public loos, 4G internet, and no bears, although sometimes wee beasties. So check out the link to that in the description. The final awesome destination of many of these pilgrims is the spires of the Kerrang, pronounced like the Metal Music Channel and Magazine, as well as the Store. Both are part of the Trottenish range of hills or low mountains. People mainly come to marvel at the otherworldly scenery, and indeed it's been used for film sets as an alien landscape, featuring in Prometheus and 2001 as the alien world through the monolith in the trippy trip. And I'll adjust the colour so you can see what I mean. And as well as the magical worlds of Stardust and the 1975 classic The Land That Time Forgot with Duke McClure. You may know him from other low-budget action movies that time indeed forgot. The Trotternish Range is Young Rock, lava that flowed out along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The point where the North American and Greenland tectonic plate is going in the opposite direction to that Europe sits on. As these plates move apart at between two and a half to five centimeters a year, lava is flowing up. It was a time when the Isle of Skye looked like Iceland, which is where the ridge currently pops up above sea level. And the North American continent and Greenland were just hundreds rather than thousands of miles to the west. This young rock is from the Paleogene period from around 25 to 65 million years ago. Layers of lava and other volcanic rocks, including bombs and ash, flooding out over older rock, which is why the scenery here looks very different to elsewhere in Scotland, resembling Iceland, minus active volcanoes. Some of the old rock these lava flows covered was Jurassic, dating from about 170 million years ago. When the area was part of a large shallow sea with islands and this part of the world was an estuary. The shells of sea creatures as well as sediment washed into the sea creating limestone over a period of about 50 million years. You can go down to the beach on the eastern side of the island and see the distinctive Jurassic layer underneath the younger volcanic rock. And it's at the water's edge the limestone is exposed. And with some teamwork you can actually find dinosaur footprints. It helps having early morning sun cast defining shadows. The footprints appear to be those of a sauropod. Wind the clock forward up to a couple of million years ago and wave after wave of glaciation carve new valleys through rocks young, old and incredibly ancient. A great slow glacier carved its way through the lava flow rock and when the ice melted and the seas rose, created the sound between sky and the mainland. And this is when things get interesting. For over a hundred thousand years, the glaciers supported the lava flow rocks. Then 12,000 years ago, the ice melted. And like a cheesecake, the heavy lava flow rock lost its icy support. And the softer, crumblier Jurassic rock underneath fails to support the weight. As a result, the hills are slowly collapsing in what is known as a lateral landslip. Now we're familiar with sudden landslips, but this one is in super slow motion, occurring over 12,000 years, illustrated nicely in this shot. And it's going on at the moment. The roads along this end of the island are in a constant state of disrepair and constantly patched up. The Krang is the most famous section of where we can see the mountain breaking off into pieces as it slowly descends downhill. But the store is another dramatic example, although this end of the range, the landslip has slowed up so the spire will be around for a considerable period, as opposed to the Krang which will undergo changes over the coming centuries. These super slow motion landslips are not rare. There is Mam Tor in Derbyshire that has been going on for 4,000 years and with destruction to the road beneath it. But the Kerrang is possibly one of the most spectacular in the world. The Outer Sky is not just stunning scenery and the end point of a modern pilgrimage for YouTubers, vloggers and, and drone photographers. It's a geological time machine with insanely ancient rocks in the south of the islands and these are called Luasian Nice, that is three billion years old. Now the earth is only four and a half billion years old, so it's pretty ancient rock. The soft sedimentary rocks of the Jurassic period from about 170 million years ago 
the 60 million year young mountain range of the Kulins that are found either as spiky igneous rock on the west of the range and smooth granite on the eastern mountains and is where lava bubbled up and cooled slowly rather than the very young lava flows found in the north of the island. And all of this geology has been carved by ice in the last million years or so. So thanks for watching, hit the like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel through Patreon and I will leave you with some truly awesome landscapes to enjoy.